Hello everyone. Welcome to Data Avenue. In this video, I am going to talk about a software recommend gathering. So we all know that recommend gathering is the very initial phase of software development lifecycle. And it's a very, very important phase because the requirements are based for the design and development. Let's look at the topics, what I'm going to cover it today. Let's talk about a definition of what is software recommend and what is the whole process involved in uh, uh, recommend gathering and analysis and what are the different techniques are being used for recommend gathering and classification of requirements, difference between business and functional requirements, difference between functional and non-functional requirements, and what is the significance of non-functional requirements? And let's talk about an example. We'll take a scenario and see how the different uh, requirements are arranged. So what is software requirement? The requirement is a condition or capability possessed by the software or system in order to solve a real world problem. Requirements describe how a system should act, appear, or perform. So it's a process of defining the expectation of the users for an application. When I say the process of defining the expectation of the users, we have to consider two points. Number one is, what are the current problems? And point number two, how we are going to plan and solve the problems. So what is the whole process involved in recommend gathering and anal analysis? So the process to gather software requirements from customer, analyze them and document it. It's also known as recommend engineering. So goal of this phase is to develop a system requirement specification document. So usually when we talk about a software development, it's all start with the rough idea, you know, what all functions the software must perform and what are the features it must have. So it's all start with the rough idea and it's kind of a single line requirements. So business analyst does a detailed study about the rough idea and uh, the single line requirements. They collect the information from the surveys and the SMEs and from the existing system functionalities. They will make a detailed study about it. So the output of the study, it's going to give us the result. If the report is very positive, then the next phase is gathering the requirements from the users, analyze them, review and make sure there is no duplicates and document them for a further process. So these are the few techniques for gathering a requirements. Uh, brainstorming. So to get many ideas from different people and document analysis, review the documents of an existing system and focus group observation identify the whole process and what are the pain points and what are the improvements that we have to do and prototyping it's a uh, we have to get the very uh, basic requirements or very important requirements and uh, uh, not the whole big requirements we'll try to create a small version initial version of the solution and uh, present it to the customer and and conducting the different uh, the requirement workshops okay involving uh, multiple people and uh, document the requirements and uh, finally uh, there are other ways of doing it uh, the survey and questionnaire you know collecting the information from the users for example the mobile phones or anything so uh, you might have seen a lot of surveys floating in the internet where you have to 
there, there would be a questions on uh, recent release of the mobile phone or uh, what are the features that you are looking for what is the good and bad that kind of a questionnaire or survey would help us to you know gather the requirements so let's talk about uh, the classification of requirements so when i say the requirements it would be uh, there are three types business requirements user requirements and system requirements the what is the business requirement it's going to talk about the scope of the project the objective so why do we need this software why do we need the system so when it comes to the user requirements it's going to answer the question for what it's talking about the user level goals and the system requirements is a very detailed one and it's going to tell us how what does the system do and the system requirements would be classified into two types of requirements one is functional and non functional the functional is going to talk about what non functional is going to talk about how in this slide it's a very very important slide it's going to talk about the difference between business requirement document software specification and the functional requirement specifications so i classified into seven points here one is what are the other names are referred for this document the srs the software requirement specification uh, there is other name called uh, the product requirements documents the prd and the functional requirements they call it as a functional specification document fsd or product specification document the psd so who creates this documents so brd the business requirements is being created by the business analyst srs would be created by business and system analyst and functional it would be created by the business system analyst and the implementation leads and what it contains the brd contains the business requirements the goal of the project right the business requirements the stakeholder requirements in very very high level when it comes to srs it's a detail level of functional and non functional requirements and the use cases when it comes to the functional requirements it contains the functional requirements data flow and uh, the uml diagram who's going to use this or uh, documents the brd it would be referred by the higher and middle level management the srs would be referred by project managers smes the subject matter experts and technical leads and functional so that is going to be used by the development and testing team so when it is prepared so brd is the initial one it's prepared in the initial phase of the project from there srs would be prepared during the planning phase and then the functional so as mentioned in the previous slide brd is going to talk about why requirements are created srs is going to talk about what requirements are created functional it's going to talk about how exactly the system should perform here is an uh, example i mean there is a detailed uh, use case i mentioned in the slide but for example here the improve efficiency by tracking employees uh, the time in the office right it's a business requirement for the business requirement what srs going to have is it's going to say 
the proposed software will contain the login, admin and reporting page. When it comes to functional, it's going to say the login module will contain options to provide user ID and the password. So here we are going to see what is the difference between functional and non-functional requirements and what is the significance of using non-functional requirements. So the functional requirement is going to talk about what that means it's going to describe the functions your software must perform. Whereas the non-functional, it defines the quality attributes of the software system. The functional, it's a product feature, but here it's a product properties. When I say functional, it could be anything. Calculation, data manipulation, or processing, the user interaction, it could be anything, any functionality. The other hand, the non-functional is, it represents a set of standards used to judge the specific operation of the system. So as mentioned earlier, when it comes to functional, it's describe what the product does. When it comes to non-functional, how the product works. Right. So why do we need to have the non-functional requirements? Is it mandatory? No, it's optional. But it's a good idea to use non-functional requirements because it's a very, very important. The requirements which are not covered in the functional, it must be in the non-functional. So why do we need to use the non-functional requirements? Right. For an example, how fast does the website load? Let's assume uh, you want to develop a mobile app, for example, bank, uh, when user logins with the login credential, it has to show the bank balance. So let's talk about the small use case. Functionally, what is needed is, I want a mobile app, I have to open that, provide the credentials, and it's going to populate the bank balance. That is a functional. Let's see, I'll open up the app, I'll provide the credential. It takes like a five minutes to display the balance. Even though functionally it works, but the quality is not there. Because as a user, my expectation is, I want to see my balance very quickly. As soon as I log in, it has to balance to be showed within like, you know, five seconds or 10 seconds max. But if the app takes like a five minutes to display the balance, the functionality is there, but the quality is not there. So as a result, the bank is going to lose the customer base, right? So that is an example for non-functional requirements and it's very, very important to define it in order to improve the quality of the software. So let's talk about an example, okay, the sales report automation. So retail company have a large number of stores at different places in different towns and cities. Okay. So the sales and marketing team want to have the sales information on daily and weekly basis for accounting and the further analysis. Okay, this is the use case. Let's see how the requirements are derived for this particular scenario. So what is the objective here? So we have to create a report from, for the particular day or uh, the weekly basis. Right. So if you look at it here, I given the numbering, it starts with BR. That means it's a business requirement. And UR is the user requirement, FR is the functional, and the NFR is the non-functional. So business requirement is going to talk about the scope of the project. 
to improve the sales for 2021 and 2022. And just for the discussion, I'm bringing this. And what is the user requirement? So who's the user here? The sales and marketing team is the users. So the requirement is to have the sales report. The user requirement is the sales report generation. By looking at this, the BR, uh, the business requirement or the user requirement, the development team cannot uh, design or develop the, the requirement, the fulfill the requirements. They want more information, right? What are the functions it has to perform? So those things would be covered in the functional. So the functional, it's going to talk about the daily report. Daily report shall contain the sales data of the previous day. And for the classification of the functional is, the report shall contain the following data. So I'm just giving example, the product ID, product name, sale quantity and price. And the report shall be a simple text file. A report name shall be created with store ID and the store name for identification purpose. And report shall be available in the shared path for a team to access it. So this information is the base for development team and the testing team for development and testing it. Even though they may not aware of what is the scope of the business and what is the user requirement. By looking at the functional, as a developer, I'll come to know I need to create a report. It's a daily report. And what I, what are the information it should have? And what is the name of the file? And where should I place it? And this is the functional requirement of one. We are talking about the daily report. Whereas the similar one we are going to do for the functional requirement 2.0. It's a weekly report. Weekly report shall be created on every Sunday that shall have sales data of the week. And it's going to have the similar as the daily. It's going to have the, the product ID, name, sale quantity and price. And the it's going to be the text file as daily report. And in order to identify we should have the store ID and the name as part of the file name. Now, once the file is created, it should be there in the shared path. So by looking at this functional requirement one and two, that itself covered what is the user expectation here. They want to create a report here. So what are the, the quality measures? So I'm adding it here. The report shall be available at 9 a.m. for the sales team when they come to office, right? So here I purposefully created this requirements with some gaps. I'd be very happy if you look at this requirements and uh, try to identify what are those gaps. And if you add it in the comments, that would be a uh, great. With this, Bye for now. Thank you for watching. Uh, please comment your questions and feedback. Thank you.